There are places in the dimension of sound where the walls between universes are thin. In these fragile pockets of static, humankind's world is not so clear, not so bright. For every sunlit path, there is the sound of shadow, and every safe haven has its own dark score. It is within these black dynamics of bandwidth that we may tune in to the sound waves of the strange, the bizarre, and the otherworldly. They are the hidden frequencies. Good evening. This is Mick Wingert. This evening, the hidden frequencies will take you to a small farm in a remote part of America's breadbasket. Here, something mysterious and miraculous is about to occur, and the course of human history is going to be forever changed as the residents of this family farm wonder at the sight of all that glitters. clear skies tonight. Stars are going to be extra bright, I think. Hmm, what's for dinner? Chicken and corn, what else? Again? That's the third time this week, Mo. <laughs> well, if you want variety, you can go live somewhere else. Now, wash your hands before you sit. <laughs> I'm good with chicken and corn. I should hope so. Beats jail food, right? It does. It does. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Mmm, <clears throat> you know... I heard there's another Farm Bureau meeting tomorrow. You going? No. No, I, I don't think so. <laughs> Not my sort of thing. You should get out more than you do, Mo. Get off this farm. It isn't good for you to be isolated all the time. I should know. You need people around you every now and again, yeah? And I don't mean me. <clears throat> Well, I'm not overly fond of people, you know that. Sometimes I wonder why you took me in at all. I mean, I'm grateful you did, but it must have been difficult for a recluse like you. Well, you're, you're not like most people. Anyway, stop worrying about me. I'm well enough. I like my own company, and Lord knows there's enough work to keep me occupied. This farm might be small, but there's always something strenuous to be done. Mm. You got that right. Farm work is honest work. Dad used to say that. Now, why is it honest work that kills you faster? You still miss him, don't you? Mm. Yeah, my, my dad was one of a kind. <clears throat> now eat your chicken before it gets cold. Yes, ma'am. Mmm. Yeah. <sighs> 
No, 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 don't clear that up, I'll do that. You look beat. <sighs> well, I... I am tired. A lot more tired these days than I used to be. I don't think I'll be stargazing tonight. Clear skies or not. Well, go to bed, Mo. You've earned to sleep. Ted, thank you. Thank you for all you do around here. I'd, I'd be lost without you. You gave me a roof over my head, Mo. You keep me fed and give me steady work. I, I'm the one who's thankful. Good night, Mo. Sweet dreams. Hopefully. My dreams have been peculiar lately. <clears throat> Good night. Well, consider yourself lucky. I stopped dreaming 20 years ago. And murder ain't just about the flesh. As a way of killing your dreams, too. Oh, you're talking to yourself again, Thomas. Sure sign that you're ready for bed. Tad, would you check the barn? I think I forgot to lock up. Yep. Jesus, the stars tonight, clearest skies I've ever seen. It never gets old, being able to just look up. It'd be good if I knew what I was looking at, though. Mo would know. <laughs> Now, let's see. Is that Venus over there? And that one, that's, uh... Holy sh... What was that? A, sh a shooting star, yeah? Uh, biggest one I've ever seen. <laughs> oh. Huh. Huh? Well, I guess the show's over. Ah, shame Mo missed it. Well, the universe is telling you to go to bed, Thomas. Be an idea if you listen. farm by myself. What? What what was who was that? Hello? What's what's going on? Hello? Is someone out there? Curtains are glowing. Why is it so light outside? It shouldn't be so light. Not yet. It's only... It's only 3.30 in the morning. Oh. 
Oh, my God. It's... It's beautiful. I've never seen something so beautiful. Ted! Are you awake? And get up here! <laughs> and it's glittering? Oh, it's all... It's all yellow. Oh. Every surface gilded. Golden. What, what, what is this? Ted! 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 Oh, Jesus! What? Oh. Come here! What is it? Are you hurt? Jet! Come here, quick, before it, before it disappears. Oh, man, what the hell? What's going on? What are you hollering for? Did you hurt yourself? Oh, shit. Come and look at it. It's beautiful. What the fuck? What is this? Is it a forest fire? I... I don't understand. It's all... It's all... It's all cold, is what it is. <laughs> yeah, you can say that again. Oh, gold on every surface. Every object, living or otherwise. The house, the barn, the yard. Oh, the trees all around. Do you see? It's even on... I can see it floating on the surface of the lake. And in the air, too. Oh, it's thick with it. Everything is coated in gold. Is it dust? It's all over everything. Oh, is it toxic? I put the cows in the barn for the night, but I left Ursula out to roam a little. Oh, God, I'll never forgive myself. Oh, no, you, you can see her in the paddock. Look, her mane is like spun gold. Her tail, too. Oh, uh, she seems agitated, but she's all right. <laughs> we should check on her. I mean, shouldn't we? Oh, it's like... It's like a fairy tale, Ted. <laughs> like Rumpelstiltskin. What's that in the distance? Uh, there, beyond the paddock. It's like a... A haze. Uh, steam or fog. Uh, just hanging in the air. Just in that one spot, look. Oh, you, you can't see the mountains through it. it. It must be hanging high and thick. Smoke, maybe? <sighs> Ted, I want to go out there. I want to get a closer look at it. <laughs> go out there? You know that. Are you serious? Yes, yes. Think about it, Ted. This could be something huge, significant. A moment of history happening right now. Every damn moment in time is a moment of history, Mo. Some moments are safer than others is all. Look, I know. I know it doesn't make sense to go out there. I know it's against all reason, but I have to. <laughs> I just have to. Dad would have gone. It might be... the my, I mean, the gold might disappear again. Blow away, meld or something. I don't want to miss it. This is, this is a once-in-a-lifetime event. It, I know it is. How do we know it's safe? We won't know until we get out there. There's an old proverb, Mo. All the glitters is not gold. You know this. I wonder if this is how people in ancient civilizations felt when they witnessed a major astrological or geological event, like a solar eclipse or a meteor shower or a volcano erupting. Can you imagine? They were probably drawn to the danger, too. Oh, it is hypnotic. <laughs> oh, Mo, think about this, would you? At least cover your face first. No, nope. no time. I'm going. Well, you know what that means? I've got to come with you, right? I can't let you out there all alone, Mo. Wait a minute. No. Mo. Mo. Haven't you wondered why there are no police sirens anywhere? No helicopter circling, no nothing. 
Mo, at least put some shoes on. Mo, I said wait. Hey, get your hands off me. Jeez, that hurt. What are you doing? I'm sorry. But just, I think you should take it easy. What for? Let's think about this for a moment. Let's be sensible. Don't you think we should uh, take something with us? Like what? I don't know, a weapon. Protection of some sort. A face covering at least. It could be poisonous. Like a gas of some sort, toxic dust, I don't know. Dad wouldn't have been afraid. Well, I'm not your dad, and uh, I'm not... I'm tired of this! Shit! See? Nothing happened. Nothing to worry about. Now, are you coming? Mo, that was... That was so reckless. I'm going outside. Oh, wait, goddammit! Well, I'm not going out there without a mask. I... Oh, shit. This'll do. <laughs> huh. Mo's favorite scarf. Well, serves her right. Mo, wait up. Love to see this, Dad. Out here, it's even more beautiful than ever behind the glass. Every surface covered in this fine layer of sparkling powder, like, like party glitter. Only more subtle, more, more alive. <laughs> it is the most beguiling thing. Huh. A faint taste on my tongue, a residue of something unfamiliar. Partly salty, partly chalky, a little metallic, like, like fresh blood from, an, from a nick gum. Oh, something fizzing in the back of my throat. Dead. <laughs> it's incredible. I wish you were here. Hey. The next time you pull a stunt like that, I'm leaving, okay? Look around you, Dad. It's Wonderland. We're in Wonderland. What do you think it is? All this gold shit. I can't. My brain... Uh, I can't keep my brain on track. Everything is so... powerfully strange, Dad. Oh, do you have a headache? Uh, my throat feels dry. Mo, it's not too late to go back. Here, at least cover your face. It's space dust. You think this is dust from outer space? Isn't it more likely to have blown here from a desert somewhere? That happens, right? Sahara dust. You know the Earth is showered with space dust every day, don't you? No, I did not know that. Yeah? Cosmic dust. From comets, meteorites, solar system junk, billions of years old. <laughs> it falls into our atmosphere all the time. It gets into our houses. Scientists came up with a figure of something like 60 tons of meteor dust a day, I think. <laughs> a day! How do you know all this? <laughs> I read a lot. I like science. Astronomy was my favorite. <laughs> Dad liked it too. That telescope in the attic, he gave it to me when I was 16. He said the world was more than we could see with the naked eye. <laughs> oh. Oh. Now, where are you going now? What are you... Now, stop that! Mo! It's silky. Oh, it's like talcum powder. Uh, same consistency. If you look at it real close, it's... Oh, moving. Look! Subtle, but... Definitely moving. <laughs> it's dancing. 
It's dancing on my skin. It's working its way into the grooves of my fingerprint. <laughs> I don't think you should be touching it, Mo. Are you kidding? This stuff is all around us. We've already got lungs full of it, I imagine. You don't think that scarf is gonna help, do you? A loose weave, woolen scarf? Just take it off. You might as well. At least I'll be able to hear you properly then. I'm not taking it off. Are you kidding me? Fine. <laughs> Suit yourself. Mo, quit it, okay? You're practically touching your eyeball with your finger. Stop, would you? You'll go blind or something. We're all made of stars anyway, Ted. All the elements that make up the human body. Carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, magnesium. All the others. Most of those were made by the stars. Lumps of gas that burn in the endless dark. They die, lose mass. All the elements they made escape into space. New stars are born and on and on and on until eventually life, us. So in a way, we're all made of stardust. Dust that is 13 billion years old. And then after we die, we turn to dust again, like Dad did, which is kind of poetic, isn't it? Well, my brain ain't built for shit like that. Can we go inside now? You know, you're not as dumb as you make yourself out to be. <laughs> I'm out here with you, ain't I? That's pretty dumb. I want to go inside. I don't like this, Mo. It's unnatural. No, no, not yet. There must be more. Something. I don't know what, but I want to stay a little longer. I want to walk down to the far paddock. Mm -hmm. Check on the pony. Is there anything I say gonna stop you? Nope. Then leave the way, I guess. Huh. Yeah, the paddock was my dad's favorite spot. Is that Ursula I can hear? What is she doing? Uh, she's just running from one side of the paddock to the other. Back and forth, over and over, like, like those animals you see in the zoo. The, the, ones, the ones that aren't coping. Damn it. I don't like this. She looks like she's... Like she's in pain. Is something stuck in her hoof? Ah, she'd be favored a leg, wouldn't she? Yeah. Shoot, I guess she would. A uh, bee sting, insect bite. I think we could get close enough to check. Look how she's rolling her eyes. Look. Look, it's oh, and she's got foam on her mouth. Can you see it? Yellow foam and what's that stuff coming out of her ears? Rabies? No, but uh, she's been vaccinated. Should we go back inside and call the vet? The vet won't be awake yet. If he is, he'll have bigger problems like we do. Let her go. For now. Come on. I don't like any of this, Mo. We leave Mo and Todd now as they continue their investigation of the suddenly gilded farm to pause briefly for these important words. This episode of The Hidden Frequencies is brought to you courtesy of our patrons at patreon.com slash the hidden frequencies. Without the participation of our devoted patrons, these one-of-a-kind audio horror stories could not be produced and made. As we head deeper into the shadows of our newest season, please consider joining our Patreon. You can become a part of creating the best quality and best acted horror anthology on the internet, featuring some of the greatest voice actors in animation, video gaming, and film. 
Membership tiers start at just $1 a month and include fantastic benefits, such as VIP membership in our Discord community, exclusive bonus content, and access to our new post-episode interview show, Loopback, where the actors and creators discuss the process of creating these tales of terror. So join us, won't you? At patreon.com slash the hidden frequencies. Also be sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram under the handle at TH Frequencies. During our new season, help us spread the word so that our listening audience is greater than ever before. Tell your fellow fans of horror about the Hidden Frequencies podcast. Join our growing list of patrons at patreon.com slash the hidden frequencies. Now, we rejoin Tad and Mo in the midst of their investigation for the uninterrupted conclusion to All That Glitters. Fog, Tad. Look. Look how it's still hanging in that one single spot. I feel like the answer to all this lies under that cloud. We need to... Oh, we need to just... Uh, oh, go. oh, whoa, steady. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I just felt woozy for a moment, you know. Uh, uh, wait, Mo. Uh, this wind is picking up. Look. The fog is lifting. What's that? Can you see that down there? It, it looks like a crater. Let's get a closer look. <sighs> it's so warm. Yeah. It's an impact site. Look at how the earth has been scooped oh, out. Oh, it's meteorite. I can still see some fragments down there. There! Look, right in the middle. That's what's giving off all this steam. It's still glowing. It's a small meteorite. This crater can't be wider than six feet. <laughs> I'm going down to get a better look. Mo, I wish you wouldn't. I know. I know, but I'm going anyway. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Ow, it, it's hot. Oof. Jesus, I could have told you that. Be careful. But for a smart woman, you lack a lot of common sense sometimes. Now get out of there, will you? Come on. Oh. Wow, well, it doesn't look like your typical meteorite. Well, then what is it? It's a geode. Look. Rock that's smooth by heat on the outside. But when you turn it over, the interior. See, look at that. Yeah, yeah, crystals. Millions of them. They're yellow. There's something in the gaps and cavities between the crystals. A sediment. It's like a crust. Look. That's slimy. And powdery, too, if that makes sense. Is that... Is that something growing in there? Hey, 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 don't even think about it. Oh, what? Get that finger away from your mouth. You don't need to taste that shit to know it's bad, woman. Come on. Oh, I guess not. It, huh. I just want to know what space tastes like is all. Well, it doesn't look like it came from space. It looks very earthly, if you ask me. It does, doesn't it? It's so warm against my skin, like it's alive. This is not a meteorite. I'm sure of it. Maybe ejecta. Maybe what? Sure. Think about it. If we could find bits of meteorites and other impact ejected from the moon and Mars down here on Earth, then why not from the other way around? Say something happens, like an eruption or a comet hits us millions of years ago, and it sends up loads of debris into the atmosphere, 
off into space. Is it so strange to think it might one day come back down? <laughs> like a boomerang? Oh, come on, Mo. <laughs> it would make us both right. This geode could be both from Earth and space all at the same time. And when it broke open, whatever was inside, you think, you think that's what all the gold particles in the air are? Maybe. Like a natural aerosol. Perhaps it was pressurized inside this rock. And when it broke open, it dispersed. Reacted with the air somehow. Uh, 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 I can't think straight. All of that from this little rock. What if it wasn't just one rock? Wait. Mo, when I locked up the barn last night, I thought I saw a shooting star. It was huge. So big, I thought I could hear it. Almost. Maybe that was another one. If enough of these rocks fall and break open... Oh, Mo, you don't look they well. They will. I'm getting worried about you. The sun is rising. Hey, now, take it slow. It's okay, it's okay, we're inside now. It's okay, Mo. It's okay. We're safe. We're safe. God, I, I knew it couldn't last. I, I told you. <coughs> now it's all red. My skin. My skin is wet with it. It looks like blood. Oh, oh. <coughs> uh, I'm, I'm going to call 911. Lie here and rest, okay? You don't look well, Mo. You, you breathe too much of that space shit in. Now stay here and don't move a muscle. I won't be long. I'm so very tired, Dad. I'm so tired. So very, very tired. Mo? Mo! Wake up, Mo! Ted, what? What? <clears throat> hey, 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 take it easy, okay? Don't try to get up. How do you feel? I miss you, Dad. I'm... Mo! Talk to me. <clears throat> I feel terrible. Every part of me hurts. 
as if my my skin's been peeled off and my, my raw nerves exposed and I had such violent dreams here here drink some oh, water thank you thank you <sighs> I think what's happening here is happening everywhere. I tried to call 911, but the line wouldn't connect. I checked the internet, no dice. No signal on my cell either. Not even any radio. Whatever this is, I, I think it's big. I think it's, I think it's everywhere. Oh, my neck hurts. <laughs> you look flushed. Oh, you're burning up. Uh, there's a terrible pain in my throat. Uh, your glands are up. Here, drink some more. Okay. Mo? What's happening, Mo? <coughs> Something moving in my throat. What is it? What's happening, Mo? Mo, your lips are going blue, Mo. What the fuck is in your throat? Open wide, Mo. Let me look. Let me. What the? Oh, Jesus. Jesus, there's something. There's something moving inside you. It looks. It looks like a worm. Oh. It, oh, God. Oh, God, what the fuck? What the fuck? I don't have no choice, Mo. I'm gonna have to rip it out. I'm sorry. Oh, Jesus, I'm sorry. Oh. Oh God, there's more than one. Ow, but they have spikes. Get out of her. Ah! Help! Ah! 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 Get off me. Get them off me. God. Oh. Ah! Ah! Get off, you demonic fucking beach rocks. Oh. Maybe it's a fungus of some sort. A parasitic one. Looking for a host. You're telling me. We breathed in that gold shit, and now these things are what? Growing, in, growing inside us. That's how parasites work. They lay eggs or spores inside a host. The dust, you see. <coughs> I thought they were worms at first, but they have thorns. Little suckers on the end. Look. Ow! God damn it! Ow! Oh, I'm sorry, Dad. Ow. This is all. This is all my fault. Uh, <coughs> oh, the pain. Uh, it's spreading. Ow, my wrist. What the fuck is happening to us? Invasion. I need... I need to wash it off me. I need... Ah. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so... Wait. Dad. 
Ted, Ted, don't, don't leave, don't leave me lying here on the floor. Ted, Ted! <coughs> Mo! Mo! Sorry I left you. I just I just needed to. I feel better after a shower. My arm hurts, but. Mo? Mo! Where are you? Oh! God! Mo! You look you look you look pretty, uh, don't I? How'd you get up in that chair without my help? I, I told you to stay put! God, that yellow stuff, it's, it's like discharge. It's, it's all over her. It's a, oh God, it's coming out of every orifice. She's, she's covered in it, pulsing and dribbling. It's, oh. Stop staring at me like that. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, but it's your, it's your, oh, it's your eye. It's, it's bulging. It, 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 you're covered in oh, slimy yellow shit. I just... Oh, my God. Hey, don't sugarcoat it. It's in my brain now. Pushing against my skull. I can feel it. You must have missed one of those bean sprouts. Soon it'll <sighs> break out. Like a seedling or a toadstool. Trying to find the sun. Clean out of my oh. face. Mo, oh, I... Oh. Look at this. What is this? Huh? What? Fungarium. An illustrated book of fungi. Only you would keep this in the house, Mo. You left it open on this page for a reason, didn't you? Uh, this looks like a, an etching a, of a large ant. Uh, there's a strange thing coming out of its head. Protuberance of some sort, a, a thin white stalk, a bit like a bean sprout. A... Oh, fuck. Mo! Mo! <laughs> oh, God, let's see. Ofa, Ophiocorphodiceps unirat, Ophiocorphodiceps unilateral, uni, unilateralis, parasitic fungus, infects ants of the tribe Campanatini, includes a re reproductive stage where a fruiting bodies grow from the ant's head, rupturing to release the fungus as spores, has been known to destroy entire ant colonies. <laughs> Mo, I got you. Mo, I can't. Mo. Mo. Mo, I don't want to die like this. Oh, God, I don't. Hello? Hello? Is anyone in there? Who the hell is that? Don't open the door. You can't come in here! We're infected! Invaded. I don't care. Please, I need help. The door. I need something. It's all over me. I don't know what's happening, but I'm... I'm... Lock. Did you... Lock. No! I didn't lock the damn door! I didn't have time! Hey! Stop that! You can't come in! We're sick! What kind of people are you? You can't offer help to a stranger in need? I'm sick too! He's not giving up! I said no! Leave us alone! Ted, 
Ted. Help. God, God no, the discharge, it's, it's going hard. It's, uh, uh, no, 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 you can't go like this. Hold on, Mo. Don't give in, not yet. It's, it's, it's too late. outside you piece of shit I can see the light in here and oh, what the fuck is that that that's not human she looks like it it looks like oh god uh, are you still in there Mo what the fuck is that what the fuck is that coming out of the top of her head Jesus Christ Rooting bodies. They have mouths. Those, those fucking worm things. Mouths and, and teeth. She's growing. Into what? Into what? The same thing you'll grow into eventually. We're we're all just hosts now. Carry cargo! <coughs> oh. Mo, Blake, if you're still with me. She can still be alive in there. She has a fucking cluster of worms growing out of her skull. Look at her eye. It's crusted thick with yellow shit. Are you insane? You weren't invited here, so shut the fuck up, or I'll kill you myself. I've taken a life before, and I don't mind doing it again. Fuck this, I'm out. Fuck you both! Yeah, fuck us. <laughs> fuck you too. <laughs> I don't know if you can still hear me in there, Mo. I won't let you suffer. Oh, here. Your daddy kept a gun up here. On this bookshelf, didn't he? Yeah, and the bullets. Yeah, right here where he left them. Yeah. You were good to me, Mo. Better than you should have been. Yeah, even though you know what I'd done. You were good to me. I love you for that. Always. That's time to go, Mo. Meet your dad. No more pain. Good night, Mo. Clear skies tonight. Uh, dust has settled. <laughs> it always does. I wonder if uh, I wonder if Mo is out here in the air now, an organism fulfilling its nature, no more, no less. <laughs> she gave birth to new life, and that life in turn birthed dust. Oh, what am I saying? Fuck! 
I don't know, my head, my, my, my head hurts. I should probably use this wall. I, I still can. Oh, but it doesn't, no, it doesn't feel like the right time. No, not yet. No, I'm still alive, that's right. That's something right. Ah, uh, I'm still alive. <laughs> I'm in no hurry to meet death. No hurry. Stuff inside my lungs, growing in me. It was inside that lump of rock for millions of years, Mo said. It can wait a little longer. <laughs> yeah. I was inside for 25 years. A man learns patience in jail. A man learns how to lie back and let time pass him by. Yeah. Lie back. I think that's what I'll do. No point in running. No point looking for help. There isn't any. <laughs> the whole world is dust now. I think, uh, I think instead, uh, I think instead I'll lie here in this soft grass and I'll look up at the stars and I'll wait. <sighs> Lay and wait. <laughs> Oh, dust from space. So stupid. On this episode of The Hidden Frequencies, you heard All That Glitters by Gemma Amore. Directed by Mick Wingert. Produced by Kevin Miller. Our cast included Jan Johns as Mo, Brian T. Stevenson as Tad, and Jenny Yokobori as The Stranger. Music and scoring by Brandon Boone. Sound design and production by Jesse Cornett of Pleroma Productions. Produced in association with SPF Entertainment and our patrons at patreon.com. The Hidden Frequencies is copyright 2022 by Wacky Title Productions, Inc. All rights reserved. No duplication or reproduction of this audio program is permitted without the written consent of Wacky Title Productions, Inc. <laughs>